I have long had an interest in early pregnancy uh, and its failure, unfortunately. 30 years ago, I won an award from the journal OBG Mannequin for the outstanding paper of the year, which was using ultrasound in early pregnancy. You see, an early pregnancy follows very classic milestones of development. And by following an early pregnancy with ultrasound, you can tell if a pregnancy is meeting its milestones. I haven't had a patient miscarry in more than 20 years. You might say, oh, I'd like to go to him. I have had just as much pregnancy failure. It's just that true miscarriage takes place one to four weeks after a pregnancy loses its viability. And so if you have a friend or coworker who says, I miscarried at nine weeks, she didn't have a normal eight week, six day ultrasound the day before she miscarried. By seeing patients very early in their pregnancy and following them at intervals so that we know the pregnancy is meeting its milestones, if a pregnancy were to fail, we can do a DNC and remove the, those dead products of conception as they're called before somebody spontaneously miscarries and ends up in the emergency room at four o'clock in the morning. In addition, that gives us the ability to examine the tissue and look to see if there are any abnormalities of the chromosomes, which may explain why the failure took place. 